There's so many computers in the world. Getting them to the right place is a big issue. Talking to students, but you're talking to them through a screen, it was a challenge every day. There's no one really fulfilling the gap, getting these computers that people don't want anymore to people that really need the devices. I have the most experience and therefore I That's not true. Who has the most speeding tickets? <sighs> exactly. FATI stands for the Free and Accessible Technology Initiative. We support financially disadvantaged communities in order to address the digital divide, really increasing their understanding of technology. I noticed that during our midterm testing, we needed to move all over the schools, and some students needed to take it on separate days. So we were missing technology that provided testing for students. And I was like, yeah, this needs to be solved. We sat down and tried to formulate a plan where we could get different types of computers and laptops to families that didn't have access to these computers. And we have 31 laptops 31. and uh, 10 power adapters in the box. Yeah, I don't see any external damage, any obvious damage. This one's missing the like middle mouse key for the cursor control. Same with some of these, I saw some keys missing. We received our first computer donation 2019 when we started with just two laptops. And over the past two years, we've helped over 300 families and worked on over 400 computers and devices. I'm glad this technology that a lot of people were actually planning to throw away is going to a family who needs it. So something that one family might see as garbage can be very valuable to another family. All right, thank you so much. Yo, Gideon, can you pull up the product manual for a motherboard? I'm trying to see for the power switch. The primary parts that we try to investigate are the presence of a hard drive, RAM, random access memory, a graphics card, a working processor, and then if there is the whole motherboard keeping them all together. And once we diagnose what issue it is, we try to use a part from another computer or it could just repair the part. We have the goal of trying to help out as many families as possible and we go through so many different computers, but I appreciate the challenges. Being young, there's like a lack of credibility. People don't really take you seriously. Imagine a 17 year old going up to a school and saying like, we need these computers or we can even provide computers. We figured out if we gave it to individuals that could really use two or three computers at a time, we can gain like reputability and have feedback from our community so schools can take us more seriously and we can start donating massive amounts of computers. Woodbridge High School looking for new computers for their library. One person in California requesting two computers for our kids. Laptops. Yeah. yeah, we can probably handle that too. We are prioritizing families with students that would really appreciate having a computer in their home, especially for this digital divide issue. I think we fulfill like a very critical gap. It became sort of like a domino effect. After the first donation recipient was given their computers, through word of mouth, another family contacted us or another school. The school administrators were speaking amongst themselves and referring us to other school districts or other uh, administrators or, or even superintendents from other school districts. We started running out of space in our homes. And we really thought like, yeah, this could be, this could be something really big. The digital divide, probably the most impactful way that that occurs is equity or lack thereof. We were constantly battling issues with students who had technology issues, uh, connectivity issues, or just could not have Wi-Fi and internet access. We might even provide extra hard drives if one gives out. It shouldn't happen, but we just provided yeah. extra. Okay. You know, really trying to make sure that Education is offered equally across the board. In this pandemic, we realized real quickly that education had to change its mode a bit. You know, students were at home for the first time in mass throughout the country. And so having the necessary technologies in place is vitally important for them to learn. Just like any, any other tool in education, um, it's, it's always valuable. So any, you know, having you guys donated, that's a wonderful thing. Technology is a tool that is available now more so than when I came through. 
that they can use to really, you know, knock down some barriers, break through some walls, and get out of their current condition, whether it's good, whether it's bad, and actually really take on the world. Before we leave for college, we have to do a lot of getting these computers off of our hands and into people that would really appreciate having them. I need to enroll in classes. I need to do both enroll, ship, buy all of my college stuff, and I only have less than a week to do. The goal for FATI is to have people on the team from around not only the country, the state, but the world. We're still going to have the administrative positions, but we're definitely going to have new people aboard, maybe juniors or seniors in our local school division. I'm going to be all the way in the West Coast, getting the Koi, or still going to be on the East Coast, but in a different state. So hopefully we can make some connections there and turn the free and accessible technology initiative into a nationwide or I'm planning on majoring in mechanical engineering and really build a problem-solving product. I want to pursue computer science, econ, or a similar degree. I still want to be heavily involved with the Free and Accessible Technology Initiative. All of the hard work in the beginning, we really didn't know if it was going to take off or not. It was like all of it really paid off. We, we really created something. We're going to have people in every city making donations. That's what it's looking like it's going to be. If there is such a surplus of computers, and there's such a high demand for these computers. And in this day and age, technology really is knowledge. Technology really is power. And to give that power to the communities that need it the most is always like a very fulfilling experience for me.